Couch here with the August issue of Foundational Profits. I believe we're at a pivotal time in the markets. You know, we've had the S&P rallying since the mid uh, middle of June, despite uh, war still going on, despite a recession clearly here, and despite uh, 40-year high inflation. You have a lot of the bulls saying that the bear market is over, that the bottom is in, and you have the president tweeting that there is zero inflation. I uh, as you might be surprised to hear or not surprised to hear, I am um, diametrically opposed to those views. I believe that we are still in a bear market. I believe that we are still in a recession. I think it's going to last for another couple of quarters. And I think that the rise in stocks, uh, particularly the S&P uh, that we've seen over the past month or month and a half or so is a bear market rally. I go over why I believe those things. I get into the jobs market, I get into the housing market, and I go back to 2008 to look at the stock market to show you that there were several rallies in late 2008, uh, larger than the ones that we've seen over the past couple of months that were eventually wiped away before the ultimate bottom was put in in March of 2009. So you get a little bit of a, a history lesson as well as a bit of analysis into macroeconomics and the things that are going to going to continue to drive the market here over the next couple of months as summer comes to an end. I also spend a lot of time going over the latest in energy metals, both as it relates to uranium and as it relates to lithium. We get into some bidding wars that are emerging in the uranium space. We get into why uranium is going to be in a, in a protracted bull market here over the next couple of years, the, the supply and demand fundamentals, and why countries are turning to it in a big way uh, that were once opposed and trying to close down the reactors, including uh, Germany and Japan, which are both saying now, hey, you know what, we don't want to freeze to death this winter, we better keep these nuclear reactors running. And why that's bullish for uranium, of, co of course, you get um, exclusive uranium stock recommendations as a member of foundational profits. I also discussed the battery market and the lithium market. There was a new report out from the International Energy Agency last month showing that we needed some 50 new lithium mines to come online in the next eight years just to supply the lithium uh, to meet the electric vehicle targets that governments have already announced. I go through uh, why that's impossible, why it takes so long for a mine to come online from exploration, discovery, exploration, uh, permitting, de-risking, financing, and construction, that you just simply can't get that amount of new mines online in that amount of time, and why that's going to drive up the lithium price uh, and the one stock you should be buying now to benefit as a result. I also get into two picks. Um, that have been uh, recommendations and foundational profits for some months now and, and why it's time to add more to them amid currently depressed prices. Uh, one of those is a long-term dividend champion company that I spend a long time going through cash flows, its moats, uh, why it's a good buy right now, why it's able to uh, protect its pricing and um, why it'll be a long-term high return, high dividend winner over the coming years. So you'll get that. I call it the habit of high dividends. Um, and then I get into an electric vehicle play that I don't think many people have considered. It's, uh, you know, not your Tesla, not your Rivian, not your battery supplier, but it's um, an industrial company that deals with medium and heavy duty vehicles. And why it's a good buy now is it, as it uh, concerns the Inflation Reduction Act, which has passed a significant tax credits for medium and heavy duty vehicles and charging stations to become um, electric uh, for fleets and, and particularly for school buses is what I get into in this issue. We get a full write-up on that uh, under the radar electric vehicle company. And then um, to, to cap off this issue, I, I, I discuss um, sort of how I started with why this recession is going to last for longer, how inflation steals from your wealth and your upward mobility, uh, and how you can protect from that as we're going to continue to see high inflation for uh, months to come. You know, the, the number for July just came in at, at eight and a half percent, a little bit less than the month before, but that's still 40 year high inflation. Um, and I continue to believe that that's going to be uh, the number seven, eight, nine percent inflation for months to come. So I get into how to protect yourself from that. And as always, how to tune out the noise, manage your portfolio for yourself and, and prosper despite uh, everything that's going on with the economy. 
politics and in the world around you. So I encourage you to check out the August issue of Foundational Profits. It's hot off the press um, and I look forward to you joining.